down. Mrs. Osborne, did you call me? No, I called Maria. You know, Maria is not here. She will come tomorrow on your visiting hours. I want to see her now. Miss Osborne, we are not allowed any visitors this late. But do you have children? Yes, boy and a girl. So, wouldn't you want to say goodbye to them? For the last time. Don't say that, Miss Osborne. You're not leaving. I have this feeling, darling. I will stay with you tonight, Miss Osborne, and make sure you will see Maria as soon as the sun goes up. I just... I know there is a boy she's meeting. I believe they're going to get married. I'm pretty sure she would tell you. Maria never tells me a thing. She's like a hiding in her bubble and doesn't let anyone in. Oh well, it happened with girls. Mine is so shy as well. Once she made a tent in her room and been hiding in there because one boy at school been calling her stupid. I was not able to take her out until her little brother came to the tent and told for Sophia. He has never met more beautiful and clever girl as his sister, and he would cry every day if the world don't see her anymore. Kids, some things can be way more clever than grown-ups, right? Yes. When I heard my baby telling that, I wouldn't be happier. I hope my Maria would be more open to me. Sleep, Miss Osborne, and a new day will bring you happiness. Thanks, darling.